At the top tonight, we're taking a closer look into a controversial church in a small East Texas town. The Church of Wells is at the center of a battle between an Arkansas couple and their daughter. Imagine this. A mom and dad are desperately hoping their daughter will come home. They say the Church of Wells that she joined is brainwashing her and holding her against her will. For the past nine weeks, an Arkansas family has been camped outside the Church of Wells, waiting and hoping to catch a glimpse of their 26-year-old daughter, Catherine Grove. The latest controversy involves an Arkansas mother and father who claim their daughter is being held against her will. The church and the couple's daughter say she is there by her own choice. Wow, I'm so sorry. You've been there the whole time just trying to get your daughter, what, get some clarity about this or resolve it? Is that right? Not, well, yes, we, we, we're not trying to get her to go home. We had no intention of telling Catherine to leave. Actually, on the very first night we met them, after it took us five hours to be able to talk to Catherine, uh, we said, Catherine, maybe this might be a good place for you. I figured we'd be in town for maybe three or four hours. We'd figure out what's going on. We'd get Catherine in the car, and we're going to go back home. They believe their daughter will come home soon. We're not trying to force her to do anything. She's an adult. You may be surprised and find that it's not a cult after all, but at least you will know. Is there anyone you can get to go inside from the back way and get this information? Well, um, we've considered that. Uh, uh, I, I've even suggested it to the law enforcement, and they thought it was entirely too dangerous. I got you, uh, Patty, thank you. Wendy Schwartz, I saw you react when uh, her dad said something about this potentially being dangerous. Yeah, I was just wondering about the police and why they would think that that was dangerous when, you know, they did go in and they didn't have any concerns. So now they're saying that the police said it's dangerous. Uh, what's that all about? Hmm. <laughs> well, I think uh, uh, what I was referring to is the, the uh, uh, very, very few people apparently leave this group. Once they come in, they stay. We actually had an officer tell us that, that they would not consider sending somebody in because they might get caught in it. I'm just wondering if we have any evidence about safety issues, danger. You know, what, what is it so threatening? If you're saying people go in but they don't come out, I mean, it's possible that good stuff's happening. Why haven't you contacted this morning America or Bill O'Reilly or... Because, 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 because she will come out and help you. Because she will come out and say, "This is where I want to be." Even though the leaders of this group are insisting that she's safe, we don't believe she is. During welfare checks, Cherokee County Sheriff's deputies say Catherine seems healthy. She tells deputies she wants to stay, and because she is 26, she can make her own decisions. You know, I know it's difficult, but the sheriff's department says there's no evidence that your daughter was kidnapped or that she's being held against her will. And that's a fact that deputies verified three times by speaking to her directly away from anyone associated with the Wells congregation. You know, Catherine is an adult. What can be done really at this point if she's not being held against her will? Well, we, we've never said that she was kidnapped. We have never said she was kidnapped.
Cherokee County investigators say the church isn't breaking the law and Catherine can make her own decisions. She is an adult. She is 26 years old. She says she doesn't want to leave when she was asked by deputies. So as a dad, that may be difficult and devastating to hear. But is there really anything that you can do about that? We don't know if there's anything we can do about it. After seeking help from local law enforcement, the Groves were told Catherine is an adult and there is nothing more they can do. But the Groves haven't lost hope. I mean, we understand that Catherine has chose to be where she's at. The sheriff asked her on recording, do you want to see your parents? And she said no. And after, after they saw him. And then on recording, they asked, do you want your parents to go home? And she said yes. We've been here uh, over eight weeks. And uh, every day is uh, the, same, the same task. We go around town uh, interviewing people, looking for any information where anyone would know where our daughter Catherine uh, might be living. Yeah, I was we, just we wondering. We have never said okay. this group is a cult. Okay, fair enough. Right, a, a cult we, or... We have never labeled them as a cult, ever. Yeah, I was we, just we wondering. We have never said okay. this group is a cult. Okay, fair enough. Right, a, a cult we, or... We have never labeled them as a cult, ever.
joining me now, KETK reporter Nicole Vowell. You saw the church itself in that in my story, and uh, just the out it's the exterior of the church raises some concerns to people. Boarded windows, uh, things of that nature. So send I you to labor unrewarded, to serve unpaid, unloved, unsought, unknown, to bear rebuke, to suffer scorn and scoffing. So send I you. To toil for me alone. So send I you to bind the 